What is up, everyone? Rob Cohey here, technical evangelist for Autodesk Manufacturing. I'm going old school on you. Take a look at this. A little something to show you. We're going to talk a little bit about visualization. I thought, what a better way to kick it off than a little hand-drawn illustration action with some aha uh -huh. take on me in the background. Yeah? Dun, 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 dun. Come on. You guys are singing it with me. <laughs> That's not really why we're here. Really why we're here is we're going to talk about visual data management. Now, what's the difference between visual data management and data management? Well, this is what you would typically see in a data management demo, right? God, that's a good tune. No, you don't like it? All right, we'll come up with something different. But anyway, take a look at this. What would you do with this? You'd print it out. You'd tape it to the side of your... Here we go. This is a much better tune. There it is. You'd tape it to the side of your monitor. You'd grab some highlighters, and you start checking off your work, right? Well, with Vault 2011 and Autodesk Inventor 2011, we're gonna dramatically change the way that you interact with data. Now, I know that sounds crazy, out of the world exciting, but really you're gonna be surprised about this. Check this out. I'm running a report directly from Vault, right? Now, this report is gonna tell me a couple things. Now, right now it's telling me what's released and what's still work in process, right? So, it's great, it's fine and dandy. Maybe you wanna customize it. Maybe you're feeling like a Miami Dolphin today. Who doesn't like the Dolphins, right? Let's go ahead and map that directly onto the CAD model. This is visual data management, ladies and gentlemen. So the ability to really go through and, and dissect the life cycle state. Um, maybe you want to go through and, and, and run another report. But then there's reports. You can set these up to, to display multiple pieces of information. These are completely con uh, configurable, right? So here I've got one. What's, what's been assigned to an item and what hasn't been yet? inside my data management system. Let's go ahead and keep cycling through these. Now this used to be something I would search for all the time. What files do I have checked out? This is very relevant information. Right? And then another one, maybe I want to determine quickly and easily, you know, hey, which one of these are uh, standard purchase components or off the shelf, sta you know, standard length of, uh, uh, of beams and such. Really, something that's not engineered. Right? So I'm able to even isolate and notice by isolating the components everything else kind of grays out really give me a, a highly interactive very intuitive heads-up display for doing simple tasks that you would normally do right so here I want to go ahead these things are checked out to me I want to check them back in this is going to absolutely change the way that you look at data management as a designer, as an engineer, man, I got, I got, I'll be the first to admit, I always thought that data management applications, and it, they kind of impeded my progress. Well, here, this is a usable tool. Data management is no longer something just for management, right? It's something that you can use every single day and literally interact with your work. That, ladies and gentlemen, is visual data management, and I think it's going to dramatically change the way you look at data management. Just in case you didn't have the song in your head yet. That's a quality tune. Anyway, don't forget to follow me on, uh, on Twitter. And check us out at the Manufacturing Community. Manufacturingcommunity.autodesk.com Hit the note. There it is. <laughs> I'm out.